Hello guys, this is my macros, um, because I get asked for it a ton. But hopefully I don't get caught up in too much of each macro situational use. Um, they're all over my bars. You probably look at the uh, control 1, 2, and 3, all the ones on the side. Uh, the three chain device when I press all the or that's shift, the death grip when I press all, and the strangulates when I press shift. I, I don't even remember what all of them are keybind to. Um, I sort of remember in the middle of the games. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Maybe the dark sim focus one. That one's kind of weird. Uh, why I have death pact bound twice, lichborn pet stuns. I can't really think. They're all pretty simple. Uh, I can't think of any macros you really need to have as a death knight. Um, there's not very many you need to have, but. Anyway, let's go. Uh, the first one, obviously, is going to be the first three. Those are Chains of Ice. Um, they're pretty simple. They're just Chains of Ice on Arena 1, 2, 3 when Shift is pressed. Um, I've thrown some couple things in there, too. Like, if I have a fin to be using Autocast Gnaw, usually that's Battlegrounds when I just turn on Autocast Gnaw instead of mashing it myself. Um, I have Toggle It back on in those. Um, Alt is 1, 2, 3 is just Death Grip Arena 1, 2, 3. I, I can't really show you this because I'm, you know, kind of not in an arena match and I didn't really have any stockpiled footage. I do have the Focus Death Grip um, as Shift. Alt is the Arena 1, 2, and 3 Death Grips. Um, but both of those are versatile in both Unholy and Frost. Although it looks kind of weird having Blood Strike and Fast Strength Strike still keep out as Frost because you don't use them anymore. Um, Pre Death Ruins, uh, you used it. But um, one of the main things about 8, I think that's what it's keybound to, uh, I believe it's also Alt-4, uh, it's keybound in a couple of places, is to sacrifice my Gargoyle, I can't remember what the keybinds are actually, because um, I haven't played in Holy in a while, but it'll sacrifice your Gargoyle instead of your pet. Here would not be when you'd want to do that, here in this situation you'd probably want to sacrifice your normal ghoul, but... Um, if he's enraged and your gargoyle is about to expire, it's probably better to sack your gargoyle than it is to sack your pet if you need heals. Um, blowing pet sack when you don't really need heals isn't too big of a deal. Um, although testing this to find out the pet sack, the target equals pet death coil on control F3. I think it's control F3. It's also over there by F7 to make sure it was working. Um, not the show tool tip. Is to enrage your pet quicker. Now, apparently, it actually has to heal. You can't just overheal your pet to get a death coil off. Although, if you don't have a target, it works nicely still. Um, overall, with Unholy, you get a lot of haste, um, just as much as you can. And the haste makes your runes come faster, which gives you more rune power, which I don't know where the talent is in Unholy that gives you your death coil to regenerate more runes. But that's pretty much how it works. You really only fast drink strike to convert to death or on clothies that take a lot of damage. Um, mages are pretty much the only caster I can think of where you might use a fast drink strike. Um, no, you, you'd still use two scourge strikes. Yeah, it's only to reset death ruins. Um, maybe if your diseases are about to fall off, but generally chains of ice is always on the target. And one unholy is better to do 20 seconds of blood plague if you're going to scourge strike, which isn't that often. Um... I do have a pet move to, pet follow, pet whatever macro, so I can control him. Uh, it's pretty rare that I eat traps. Um, going through the macro book, uh, 1, 2, and 3, that's clear focus and set focus to arena 1, 2, and 3. Um, that's control 1, 2, and 3, I think. Um, I have the targets for alt 1, 2, and 3 as well. Um, and then the death coil pet thing, I believe that's somewhere on alt 4. Also, sh alt F3, it's on F7, it's on a bunch of stuff. Maybe it's not alt 4. That's Zach Gargoyle. Anyway, um, Outbreak is, yeah, none of these macros are that important to have. I have a old, what was I playing then? Blood, I think, is when I made that macro for different sets of keybinds. If you see anything where it's just mod shift, um, two different spells, and it's on the target, it's generally just a keybind saver because I do run out of action bars because I do have a couple of scripts on my bars instead of keybinds. I have focus mouse, mouse over the Fest Drink Strike one. Um, Death Strike to save a button. Uh, pet Leap is kind of tricky. Actually, that Pet Leap is not correct, is it? It doesn't have auto cast off on Claw. Um, I'm not sure you use it, because the only time you really Pet Leap is to your focus. Um, you don't really need that to your target unless you're using it as an interrupt. Um, either way, it should probably be in there just in case the random situation comes up where you are trying to leap and he is able to Claw. Uh, 
not 100% sure if that's even on global. Either way, it's probably a good idea to have. Um, pet follow is, you just have to make it say click pet action bar 6 to keybind it. It's not too bad. Um, at least where it's at in mine. It, you can see where it goes. The attack is 1, leap is 2, gnaw is 3, huddle is 4, claw is 5, move 2 is 6, so it's click pet action button 6. Um, 7 would be follow and so on. You can see how it lines up, hopefully. Um, yeah, fun to play with, useful for eating traps or moving your pet away because they overextend. Not getting it Nova, generally I don't do most of that stuff. Um, I can, but I haven't had a need to. Um, trinket, I use this on TR uh, because I didn't want to put all the separate trinkets in keybinding it, so I put Impotence of Youth when I was running Double Healer Frost Death Knight. Not really needed. Uh, weapon Swap, yeah, it gives you an error message, but whatever. I can't think of an easier way to do it without two separate minds. Um, one of them has Disarm Weapon Chain on it, the other one has uh, Fallen Crusader, which is huge, is unholy. I'm not so giant as Frost. Um, the three script, or the five or six scripts I use for the class icons and some of the other stuff, you can pause it and look through and copy them if you want. Um, or just drop a comment, and I'll probably put it in the description if enough people message me. Anyway, uh, I do have Strangulate Arena 1, 2, 3. Uh, I don't have a Focus String anymore. I'm probably going to need to make one if I ever do an RBG again. Although I don't think I'm going to because they took the mount away. Um, this one's just a button saver for if G would be anti-magic zone and G would be anti-magic shell. Uh, you can keep on this separately. I've done that before too. I just don't happen to have it on this set of Death Knight. In TR1 I think it had it. Um, the focus dark sim, you have to target your focus, click the normal dark sim button because the only way to macro it would be to know what spell you're going to get. Otherwise you have to simulate the mouse click with slash click action button. For me it's 10. Um, you can do slash frame stack and then find out what action bar it's on. Um, it's kind of complicated to do, but actually no, it's not. It's kind of simple if you know a little bit about this game. Um, beyond that, there's not really much more you need on the Focus Dark Sim. Death Grip is Arena 1, 2, 3, obviously, are part of it. The Chains of Ice is just like the Festering and Blood Strike. It's just Shift is Chains of Ice, and then I have Control and Alt keybound elsewhere for 1, 2, 3, even though I could put them in the macro. Um, and then that one might not have auto cast leap and gnaw on it. I don't use auto cast leap at all, but I did have it. Um, I don't remember what I had it for when I was trying to macro leap and gnaw uh, after they broke it, and I just said fuck it and keep on it twice. Uh, the Lich Four macro, it's shift puts it on, puts the actual death coil, Z, normal Z puts it on me, Alt Z. Yeah, I know that's normally hide interface, cancels Lich Four. There's probably a better way to do it. I didn't do it. Oh well. The Gargoyle one is target Evan Gargoyle slash cast target equals help. Um, death pack target last target. A uh, couple of button savers. Plague Strike and Scourge Strike. I don't use that anymore. Outbreak and Pestilence. Yes, I had those keybind together for saving time in raids. Um, yeah, I definitely don't need Scourge Strike anymore. I just put up two separate keybinds. Whatever target equals Arena 3 Death Strike. Uh, the DPS trinket and strangulate was for shift D if I didn't want to buy in shift uh, S, shift A, and shift D. But I did do that anyway, so technically I don't need that one either. And then unholy frenzy for whatever the last healer I actually did something with. Um, and that's on mod alt. Um, pretty much, it's fairly simple. I, Death Knights don't really have like warrior macros where you need a weapon swap, a couple of modifiers. Um, most of them go into pet controls. Other than that, it's like target equals arena, target equals focus, and other than that, it's pretty simple.